Hi guys, I'm here today to do a tutorial on how to correctly apply acrylics to the natural nail. Um, I normally don't have lifting and I normally don't have clients who have lifting. Um, so I definitely wanted to do this uh, tutorial right after having done the tutorial on the basic manicure. We've already done the basic manicure on my client here who happens to be my 11 year old <laughs> daughter. Um, and her nail plate is now free of all debris and all uh, dead skin and she is ready for an application of acrylics. I normally don't make it a point to do them on her but I'm going to do them today. I don't think it's going to kill her, you know, or what have you. Um, you're going to need some lint-free wipes. Instead of buying the expensive lint-free wipes, I use paper towels. I just cut them up. They're lint-free. They work really, really well for what I need them for. I always cut up one paper towel and this way I have a whole stack ready to go for my application. You're going to need your dehydrator, which I'm using Bond-Aid by OPI. This is a pH balancing um, agent, which means that it, aside from dehydrating the nail of any, um, you know, water, fluids, whatever, um, it pH balances the nails to get it, get them ready for an acrylic application. Okay. I'm also going to be using Bondex 2. It, this says Bondex, but I've actually have uh, Bondex 2 in here. Um, which is an acrylic bonding agent and again it's by OPI. I'm going to be using my liquid is I'm actually using a new system that I've been trying out now uh, for more than two weeks on myself you guys can see I'm in desperate need of a fill um, and I'm loving this uh, new acrylic it is by Diva Collections um, usually I use CND okay um, C and D looks like this. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my god, I can't even find it. I can't find my C and D right now. I'm not gonna take up too much time, but anyway, I use C and D um, acrylics, and um, this time I'm going to be using this clear acrylic powder. I'm going to be using this. Uh, professional liquid with the professional powder. I'm also going to be using a mix my daughter made with some black glitter and stars. You're going to be you're going to also need an acrylic brush. I'm going to be using this one. I got it in a swap. It is my absolute favorite brush. You're going to need a buffer or two. You're going to need a buffing block for smoothing, okay? And you may need a drill if your application is not clean, which means if you get lumpy bumpies all over your hands or your nails when you're applying your acrylic, you're going to need a drill to shape them. Um, I mean, you could do it by hand. We, I mean, back in the day, we all did it by hand, so, um, but I would personally use a drill. I'm going to try and get a clean application on top of the tips, um, so hopefully I don't need my drill. Um, I'm going to be using a tip on her nail because she is a nail biter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how I apply my tips. I've already measured out the tips to her natural nail. A tip should not be any wider than the, the two sides of her natural nail, meaning it should just touch the end of this nail and just touch the end of that side of the nail. If they hang over, you're going to have lifting. If they are too small and you have to force them down onto the nail like this and cause um, cause white to appear up here they are too tight and it's gonna pop off they're gonna have lifting um, you want a nail that fits from one corner to the other comfortably um, and that's how you should measure out your nails I'm going to be taking this glue it is a five second professional nail glue by IBD okay I keep it in a container like this with a pin in the top of it this way it doesn't get all icky 
I popped the pin out and we are just ready to go. Now her nails have already been prepped and cleaned. If they, if you haven't done the manicure, you should definitely perform a manicure, a basic manicure on your client before starting uh, putting the tips on. I'm going to use a dehydrator on her nails really quickly. I like to use this to, again, just pH balance and prepare the nail for adhesion. Even though I'm not applying acrylics, acrylics right now, we are using a glue, which is an adhesive. You want the nails to be as prepped as they can be um, for your nail extension. What did I do with that pinky nail? There we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to lay a bead of glue. You're going to basically lay a little tiny bead of glue into the well of the nail. The well of the tip is the part that is beveled, okay? You're going to hold this away from your body. You're going to flip like this away from your body. You don't want to be gluing yourself to your client. You're going to lay it on top of the natural nail, press down, slip off the edge, place it on the edge, and curl back up to squeeze any bubbles out of the nail, okay? And you're going to hold this here for about I'd say five to ten seconds. I like to hold it a little bit longer just to be sure. But once you can see that there is a good adhesion, the nail's not going to come off. Now with a nail biter, you're going to get some skin sticking underneath. Don't worry about that. You can take it off later and it's not going to affect the set. I'm going to go ahead and put all of her tips on and then I'll be back to show you how to shorten them. Okay guys, so now we have all of the nail tips applied to the fingers and they're ready to be sized. I'm using a tool called a tip clipper or I don't know what else this could be called, but you can get them in Sally's, you can get them in any beauty supply store, or you can also use a toenail clipper. A toenail Ooh. clipper looks like this. It looks the same as a nail clipper, only really really big okay this is called a toenail clipper and I'm gonna demonstrate both of them for you guys so that you can tell which one um, whichever one you want to use okay so first I'm gonna use the tip clipper and what you need to do when you use the tip clipper is you hold the blade toward you not toward your client okay you go in and I'm gonna do these pretty short because she's a nail biter and we don't want her having lots of issues you cover it over with your hand because that tips gonna go flying you cover it over and squeeze and the tip comes off okay now I don't care if it's a little crooked because I can reshape that or whatever so that's how I tip it I clip it rather and these tips that you cut off you can use them to sample glitters or whatever I just throw them away um, but I've seen a lot of women take these and you can use acrylic to glue them to a board and you can test other acrylics on them or whatever. Um, whichever you like. <clears throat> and this is how you would clip it with a nail clipper. You take it and you go in from the side. You go to what the length that you want and you go in from the side and you clip halfway. Okay? And then you go in from the other side and you click clip halfway again and then all you do is you bend backwards and you bend it up and I know that that doesn't look too good to <laughs> most people and then you basically twist and it will pop right off and you can just file that off I'm gonna go ahead and size all of these and we'll be right back okay guys now that we have all of the tips clipped I'm gonna go ahead and rough them up a little bit the way that I'm going to take the shine off of the nail is with a buffer that looks like this. And I'm going to use the rougher side because I also want to rough up her natural nail. If anybody ever tries to use a drill on your natural nail, you should probably shoot them. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am not an advocate of using a drill on a natural nail. Um, when I do my fills, I will go up around there with the drill because I'm already drilling off acrylic but I put it on the very lowest speed with a very fine bit. I am barely touching the top of, of that finger and we're that's just basically to to zip off any dead skin that might be laying on top of the nail plate. If somebody is zipping into your nail with a high-speed drill 
that's not good that is where damage comes from and that's where a lot of ladies complain of burning or they complain of what they call a ring of fire you get a red ring dug into your nail and that will show as it's growing out the whole time it does not go away it's called a ring of fire so I'm gonna take this buffer and I'm gonna basically take the shine off of the off of the tip and my daughter hates filing but you know it feels so weird though it does feel weird it feels like a cat licking you like have you ever gotten licked by a cat oh no thanks <laughs> i'm go also gonna do a little bit of round shaping uh, she's gonna have a school wool now because i don't want her clawing the heck out of herself <laughs> or anybody else like her sister <laughs> yes. and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the corner of my my buffer and I'm gonna rough up the natural nail meaning um, I'm just gonna scrape the top layer off of the natural nail plate um, just to take the shine off you want to rough that up so that the primer for the acrylic adheres better you do not need to dig a hole you do not need to take off 65 layers you basically just want to take the shine off of the natural nail and off of the Tip. tip okay we've already removed all the dead skin so you're not sawing off layers of crap you are just taking the shine off of your natural nail the deeper you go during this process into your natural nail the more nail damage you're gonna have when the acrylics come off okay now you can saw back and forth because this is not the natural nail. You can go back and forth to shape and file because this is an artificial nail. Okay, so we've taken the shine off of the natural nail and off of the, the tip. I'm going to finish doing this to all of the nails and I'll be right back.